Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about hyperammonemia. And it's going to be represented by this guy up here who's very hyper. He's very hyper and he's got tons of ammo on him. Hyper ammo guy. He's the hyper ammo guy for hyperammonemia. Hyperammonemia can be an acquired or hereditary disease. And we're going to talk about the symptoms of this disease as well as a word in, about treatment at the end. So what are the symptoms in hyperammonemia? Let's take a look at this guy over here. We know that he's got to get this flapping bird over here. The flapping bird on his hand is it going to help us remember the flapping tremor seen in hyperammonemia. Patients can present with asterixis, which is a flapping the hand when the hand is extended. This guy here is saying, I love a a ammo. You know, he's slurring his speech. This helps us remember that in hyperammonemia, there's a slurring of speech. Even though he's really hyper in the scene, he is jumping on top of a bed. In fact, he spends most of his time on a bed. That's because he's always tired. In hyperammonemia, there's a somnolence. The patient is often very tired and sleeps a lot. And again, even though he's very excited, we see him vomiting a lot. And hence, we see the accumulation of vomit on his bed. We also see his brain over here. And there's water shooting out of it. This helps us remember the cerebral edema seen in hyperammonemia. I know his sunglasses look cool, but he actually has a very blurred vision as you see the blurry screen over here. This helps us remember the blurring of vision seen in hyperammonemia. Now to understand the next part of the scene, we have to take a quick look at the equation of for which ammonia is involved in. Normally, alpha ketoglutarate combines with NH3, ammonia, and it forms glutamate. Then it finds with another ammonia to form glu glutamine. When alpha ketoglutarate combines with an ammonia, it forms glutamate. When it, it combines with another ammonia, it forms, glu it forms glutamine. In hyperammonemia, there's so much ammonia that glutamate keeps on forming into glutamine. That depletes the storage of glutamate in the CNS. Similarly, when ammonia keeps on combining with alpha ketoglutarate, it inhibits the TCA cycle. Let's take a look at that in the scene. So here we have the hyper ammo guy, and his bullet shoots out at this glue mate, right? It's a mates over here. They're mates, but they're also glue bottles. Glue bottles that are mates. The glue mate for glutamate. And they get exploded. It's because the increase in ammonia, represented by this ammo going up, ammo going up for increase in ammonia, depletes the stores of glutamate. We see these crabs in this cycle over here, the crabs in the cycle for the Krebs cycle also being inhibited. It's because as ammonia goes up, it also depletes the storage of alpha ketoglutarate and that inhibits the TCA cycle. Okay, we don't have treatment for hyperammonemia in the scene, but we'll just make mention of it to limit protein in the diet. The metabolism of protein that produce the ammonia, so we want to reduce the amount of ammonia. Other ways of reducing the ammonia levels may be to lactulose to acidify GI tract and trap ammonium for excretion, antibiotics, such as rifaximin and neomycin to decrease ammoniogenic bacteria, as well as benzoate, phenoacetate, or phenobutyrate to react with glycine or glutamine, forming products that are excreted renally. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on hyperammonemia. Leave your comments, be in touch, take care.